especially in the mountains, because we expect spring snowstorms, right? Hey, Chris Williams uh, out shooting his drone at Sundance this morning. Boy, it's beautiful with all the snow out there. Uh, appreciate the shots that have come in. We've got more to share. Uh, Scott Taylor also out and about today. Beautiful conditions. Speaking of the snowpack, again, 176% of normal for this time of year statewide. All basins doing extremely well. In fact, we're sitting at 23.7 inches of snow water equivalent. So this is now the third or fourth day in a row of setting a new record where we've surpassed previous records for this date. Headlines calling for calm and cold conditions again tonight. We had below freezing temperatures this morning. We're heading there again for Sunday morning. Increasing showers though tomorrow, especially across the southern tier of the state Sunday early afternoon. It'll be later in the afternoon and evening for northern Utah. Heavy mountain snow in the mix and it's going to stay active throughout the week. In fact, looking at future cast, we've got mainly clear skies, some high in the sky clouds across northern Utah. So some of those high cirrus clouds. This is Sunday morning about 8 o'clock. We'll start to see increasing moisture from the southwest. So southwestern Utah dealing with the chance of some showers. This is 2 o'clock. This is a warm front that's initially moving through uh, tomorrow afternoon. So it won't bring any thunderstorms in the mix. But we will see some rain showers. Mountains will start to see some snow. We do have winter weather advisories. We'll show you where we're expecting the heaviest precipitation by 6 o'clock. Could start to see some rain across northern Utah, especially by Sunday evening into Monday. With southwest flow in place initially, it should stay rain across the Wasatch Front. Snow levels should be above about 6,000 feet, again with heavy snow expected. Winter weather advisories for the northern, central, and southern mountains all calling for about one to two feet of snow. Could see locally higher amounts across some of the southern mountains and the upper cottonwoods. Wind gusts up to 40 miles an hour, so it's going to be a big snowmaker for the mountains. As far as rain across the valleys, it should bring a good amount of rain as well. So this is just for Sunday into Monday. A good quarter of an inch popping up in many locations, possibly four uh, tenths of an inch in Delta, maybe two tenths in Cedar City, three tenths in St. George. So a good amount of rain. That's just through Monday, six o'clock. We have more showers in the forecast, possibly even some thunderstorms on Monday with some instability in the air. Temperatures falling to 59. It'll be windy in St. George on Monday as well. More rain Tuesday, Wednesday. Temperatures falling to the low 50s. Chance of showers continuing all the way into the weekend. Less of a threat Friday, Saturday. Temperatures in the mid to low 50s. The Wasatch Front. Plan on some showers. 54 tomorrow. Breezy wind. Again, the showers will be here later in the day, closer to the evening hours. Rain showers on Monday, maybe an isolated thunderstorm. Tuesday, more rain. Rain snow showers Wednesday. Temperatures falling close to freezing overnight Thursday and Friday. Chance of rain snow continuing with scattered showers Friday. Should start to see some clearing uh, Saturday, but might see some more active weather into next week.